Good morning, people. About to go to USPS today. And, feel, you know, I got to go mail some stuff for my family in Barbados. Shout out to them. Um, so, going to do that right now. So, yeah, guys. It's your boy, Fresh Prince CEO. Guys, go follow me on Instagram. Fresh Prince CEO on Instagram, YouTube, all platforms if you're watching from somewhere else. Also, as well, um, stay tuned for more action because today is going to be action packed. We got a lot of shit going on. And then we go to Vegas tomorrow for a conference, me and Myron Gaines, so it's gonna be lit. And yeah, man, um, honestly, guys, like, you know, uh, I haven't seen my family in like a year, because I've been, you know, here quarantining. I don't wanna go over there and quarantine for five days. What's the point of going to Barbados? I have to wait five days to quarantine. I'm not taking no damn vaccine. I'm not doing that shit, bro, so. But I'm gonna send them some stuff, some mail to my family back home in Barbados. And I'm just gonna open up a PO box as well uh, for you guys, so. If you want to send me any merch, send me any of your stuff to put in the vlogs, I will. I'm um, show some love to y'all as well. The subscribers, the family, uh, Fresher Fit Fam, everybody. So um, it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be a vibe. But yeah, guys, I am tired, bro. Just woke up. Uh, I'm gonna try on today the um, shoes I bought yesterday, so should be pretty dope. But yeah, guys, and people ask me all the time, what does this chain mean? It means CEO control every opportunity. So when you wake up every morning control every opportunity don't think okay i'm in a situation i'm stuck here no you're not it's an opportunity to grow and get better and learn something so it's all about branding yourself understanding that you know what your current situation isn't your uh always situation you can always change that so all right guys i'm downtown right now by the post office so i'll let y'all a little bit later peace all right guys i'm here at the post office i'm about to meet up to my family they're you know they're my nephew's a dbz fan you know you got here, you know, we got the Frieza Goku, if you know DBZ, Golden Frieza, Super Saiyan Goku. And we got today, this is I'm going to wear, got from yesterday, I got me some, you guessed it, foam runners. All right, it's packaging here. I heard it looks like Mac Comfy, so let's see how they are. Um, still in the box, foam runners, let's see. See how they feel on my foot. Get rid of Nike. Okay, let's see. Dude, these are mad comfy, bro. Holy smokes. It feels like I'm walking on a cloud. As you know, I got a size 12 because your boy has some big ass feet. You know what that means? I got it. Nah, I'm just kidding. Pause. Cool. So, damn. Size 12. Guy. Yo, this feels mad comfy, bro. I'm not going to lie. It's like um, I'm walking on a cloud. That ass. Walking on a cloud. Okay. So these go back in here. You know what place in here for now? I don't guess a blasphemy. Put a Nike in a Adidas. Whatever. Whatever. All right. So we're going to head out to the post office now. Hey, guys. So honestly, man, like, I'm not a shoe guy per se, but I do enjoy um, comfort. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and pay for the parking. Because I might get towed over here in Miami. So if you're ever in Miami, Always pay for parking downtown because you might get towed. Especially for Lauderdale, they'll tow your ass in, in a heartbeat. So, always pay, guys. You should always pay. Um, so, all right, guys. See you in a little bit. I might meet with Nino Brown to get some food. We'll see because he might be busy, so we'll see. All right, guys. All right, want to get interviewed by the roommates. It's for my vlog. Yes, sir. What's up? What's up? What's, what's up? going on, man? What's up, Hafiz? Yeah, what up? Yo, y'all been in Miami twice, right? A couple, it's like a like third, couple times? fourth, fifth time. We 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 stay out here, basically. Just Make sure to tell them on the vlog how you show up thirty minutes late, bro. <laughs> okay, <Come> okay. <laughs> look, man, I didn't shit stuff for my family, bro. Back in Barbie. Okay, look, I, I apologize. I take accountability. I messed up for this, right? All right, guys. So dinner on me. How about that? Dinner on me. Cool. Yeah. It's fair. Yeah. We're fine. We're fine. At least, unlike some females, I take accountability. Okay. Hey. <laughs> so we got like a couple cameras here. Nice studio. How long are you guys here for? Uh, we just came to interview you guys. So we're oh, shit. Yeah. We're leaving in the morning. Damn. Yeah, we're leaving in the morning, too. Well, evening time to go to Vegas. So, oh, man. Yeah. Vegas is going crazy right now. Yeah, honestly, I don't like Vegas. I don't gamble and I don't smoke. So it's like, yeah, I'm I mean, going to there to like conferences or like just to network, basically. Y'all going, going there to see somebody or y'all just? Oh, we're, don't, we're, we're going for a conference. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. The CME. Uh, Conference of Masculine Excellence, basically. It's by Donovan Sharp. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And is that your brand? 
is our our you said shirt? brand. No, your brand. Oh shirt. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our shirt. We oh, do. plug your shit, bro. Never love shirts. I don't know if they. We probably sold that, but no. Oh point. damn. Okay, <laughs> where can they normally buy shirts from normally? Uh, roommatesshop.com. Cool. There you go, guys. If you want to get some level up shirts, cause niggas. You only level up today, bro. Cause if you don't, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, you're gonna, you're gonna be losing. I'm telling you right now, bro. You got to. Bro. You got you to, bro. If you want the baddest chicks, bro, you gotta level up, man. Now, in my opinion, you shouldn't get the baddest. You should get the OKs, seven eights, and then deal with those. Cause the nines and tens, bro, I'm telling you, bro, are straight headed. From experience, for the streets, man. For the streets too. One thousand percent. Community property, bro. So there you go, yeah. fellas. All right, we're out here. Community Peace. Community property. <laughs> the better the chick. The better she is for a relationship. Facts. Oh, the first idea that I had a problem with is that women are only dating 10 to 10, 10 to 20% of men. No, that is not true. Most uh, most Americans get married. Most people in the Western world get married. Even up until today, the number is 90% of people in the West will eventually get married. So let's stop making that illogical things. And it also, men need to stop complaining about female nature when there's shit about male nature too. When men have choices, they don't choose bottom of the barrel women. They just don't do it. So you're a bottom of the barrel man and you're mad that girls don't want you. That's too many guys today. They're, ma they're mad. It's not. Look, as a, I, one of my favorite videos of AMS, he said it. There are 500 pound women that would love to be with guys like that. Yep. They, they don't want them. them. They don't want them. I, I tell you, when I used to do my lives, I would ask guys all the time. I'm like, hey, man, look, why don't you? There, there's some average chicks. Why don't you? You're, to me, you're an average guy. You, you live with your mother, you make this much money, you don't have much, you're average. Why don't you date an average girl? Oh man, you know, Phoebe, you know, come on, you know the bag, you know, man. No, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And so, so many of these guys are doing the same things. They're doing the same things. So I'm an individual, I just look at both sides. You know, look at and that's a component of emotional health that we're always striving to tell men to do because i know that if you're suffering in the silence mm. i know that you getting a girl is the worst thing possible yeah thanks P I mean, I mean it, it's it's a serious conversation it's probably going to be the worst thing possible that if a guy who's suffering mm. gets a girl because there's two kind of guys who suffer you know there's a guys who suffer and they explode meaning that they take their anger onto others. And there's guys who suffer and they implode, mm. which means that they take their anger onto themselves. Yeah. And so to me, I think it's important that every single man be to realize that major component of if you do not deal with this inner demon, if you do not deal with this inner pain, the hurt, the, 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 the stress, the traumas, the anxiety, the frustration, Yo, that girl will will destroy you. Well, not, I don't want to say she will destroy you. You and her will destroy yourself. It will be a team effort that's going to lead to the destruction of your life. And you see so, so many of it. So many guys are in prison right now. M murder. Who did they murder? I mean, if we, if we, if we look up, I think I, I could be wrong. So I'm not saying this is number one. But one of the leading um, individuals who... One of the leading reasons that women die is because of domestic violence. You know, guys got to realize. But they understand that stuff is empty. That yeah. stuff is not going to last. That stuff doesn't sustain you. Mm -hmm. And when eventually that runs out, you're going to be left like with all these things where, where you feel like you're supposed to have, all the women that you smashed, all the money that you have, and you feel still feel empty. We see examples like that all the time. So when we say work on yourself when we say hey you might need to go to therapy hey when you need to really attack the inner things and find out why are you here mm -hmm. how can you leave an impact how can you leave a legacy that is what's going to carry you through the hard times because they're going to come yeah it's life is ebbs and flows they're going to come yeah. you need to have the why to push you through these things mm -hmm. you know what happened to to, to bro is it's sad you know, with the with the you know with the happening at the music video, with the breakup, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, when when life it's just when life gonna storm on you. <laughs> you know, I have been through storms, it's been through hurricanes. You know, and and the reasons why. You know what I want to do and leave an impact on this world. That's what kept me going.
You know, I get. I mean, I had a point a long time. I was like, man, I understand why people off themselves. I get it. I get it. I experience success. I experience women. I experience material things. I experience all these things. I understand. It's empty still. But if you don't know your legacy, you don't know your reason why, you don't know your purpose, it's going to be hard to push through. And these guys got to understand that. They got to realize that. Or it's going to be more stories like that. And, you know, it's sad, man. Hey, guys. What well, is good? Boyfriend, friend, CEO. We got Redbeard in the building. And my You were searching the cameras on without telling anyone. Listen, man. <laughs> We're late for the airport. It's probably my fault. So I'm gonna say this. You're definitely late, bro. Look, He's <laughs> this guy, the flight's at one. Yeah, he leaves at 11.30. Like, He's like, yeah. Well, bro, we, we gotta go to the airport, bro. Like, oh no, it's fine, bro. We got enough time. Yo, it's 11.49 right now, guys. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it, okay? We're gonna make it. We're like three we'll minutes see. away, four minutes away. But yeah, KC, what you gotta say, bro? Hey, man, I think you got a Jewish wheel man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we gonna play around. That's uh -huh. what we're known for, right? Oh, uh, man. You yeah, bro. This. Oh, shit. Four cylinders, Volkswagen. Look, man, we are on the road, people. So we're going to Vegas right now uh, for the CME conference. Uh, Myron's gonna speak. I'm just gonna look cool there. But guys, I think we're gonna do seven live over there too. Oh, there you go. So, so. Um, yeah. So guys, get get the merch. See the hoodies here. Um, get the Punisher shirt. Punisher shirt on here. And uh, yeah, we got so also the four example shirts. So. And I redid all the concepts, guys. I, I made it cleaner and I put it on better material shirts, so it's gonna be better quality when you get it. There you go. So yeah, fellas, um, I'm gonna hop chill a little bit later. I'm gonna get on the plane probably, and peace. Hey guys, we made it into airport, man. This was the close one, man. I don't know how the hell we did it, but we did it we somehow. almost didn't make it, bro. Like, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. But we're gonna see you guys in Vegas if you're in, if you're there. Um, I mean, but then it's uploaded, you probably, you probably won't be there, but hey, stop that counts. Um, also, I'm about to hit on a girl right now, guys. I'll be ready. She's yeah. Come out. She's pretty high. Even without know, makeup on. Yeah, so see what happens. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, shit. Life, life in fields? Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see. Let's, let's see. But yeah, um, we're boarding in like, what? 40 minutes? So, we just made it in time. Because Miami Airport. Is there Starbucks around here? Uh, probably inside. Or they might have been, been outside. But um, but yeah, man. Uh, you guys like those glasses? These are hard, these man. Are yo, yo, bro. Talk. When he brought them shits, I was like, dude. Yeah, when you read these, bro, these are like, those, like those legit. Are terrible. I'm telling you, they're like fire. Oh, he's gonna hit on that lady right there. What happened, bro? You, you didn't hit on her. <laughs> <laughs> now, but um. That was, I thought you were gonna go hit on her. Man. I was gonna wing you. That's a abuelita. That's a the grandma, man. But um, yeah. I think you, know, you know what's the crazy part, bro? I just thought about this. If she made OnlyFans, you know she could probably make ten fans a month. Who? That old lady. That's where we live in now, bro. Oh yeah, cause there's there's like a niche. There's, yeah, there's like weird there's some. See that. Ugh, it's kind of gross. Selfie pics. It's right. kind of funny. But yeah, you kind of made it. But um, but yeah, I think it's gonna be boarding out of um. Gate E seven. Yo, are we gonna be? Uh, Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Come to the block. Hey, you want to come over here? There you go. What's good? What's good? <laughs> we, don't, we, we don't wear masks over here. What's they good? They made you put it on. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay, what's your name and where oh, you're from? Oh, no, I need a filter here. <laughs> yeah, she's like, no, no, no. I need a filter. No. It's I'm okay, Chase. We'll be... I'm from New York. And what's your, shout out your Instagram. Um, lucrative Chase. Lucrative underscore Chase. Yeah, she got the body too, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I want to find it, though. Oh, yeah. I want to find it. Oh, yeah, yeah. On YouTube. So we're getting on the plane right now to Vegas, guys. Um, okay. It's going to be lit. Um, so right now, just waiting to board, and then we're going to head out. So it's going to be dope. She is a fire, man. This is our business page. Swear to God. So, my room game is spin the game. Spin the game, you feel me? If you do it, spin the game. See, niggas, niggas got money, but they don't got game, bro. Like, you need game always. So that's that's the thing. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, okay. So. Nice. That's what's up. Yeah. What was yeah, my video? Hi, right, nice to meet you. Bro. She would die, nigga. She would die by the sword. <laughs> oh, chop. Okay. Go. Yeah, let's go. All right. All right, guys. See y'all in a little bit. Peace. We're getting a free ride to E7, man. Shout out to our boy. What's your name, man? My name is Martinez. Martinez. Shout out to Martinez, man. We in the building getting a free ride. Hi. Yo, this is like complimentary service for being fresh and fit, man. I don't think he knows who we are, but it's all good. <laughs> See, we're heading. This dude said, do you know who we are? Do you know who we are? As, as if, like, anyone... <laughs> hey, man, you never know. He might have been like, yo, I'm a subscriber, bro. Yo, I have never once actually gotten one of these things. This ever. is dope. This is dope. Just lit, bro. So we're going to E7. Bro, you're lazy as hell, man. You know what it is, bro? Just 
Yo, she's pretty bad though. Bro, you got her phone number, bro? Yo, see, we talk how we live it. We we talk to girls in real life. I was like, yo, I told the boy I was gonna hit on you, so I'm here. <laughs> One more time. That story. All right. So look, we were coming to uh, Miami for a work trip. Yeah. And uh, and one of my coworkers, <laughs> he uh, he met a girl on uh, Seeking Arrangements, I think. Okay. And he'd been seeing her for a while, like maybe once a month, fly her out, have a good time, sleep with her, whatever. Yeah. Then she said she'd come with him on the work trip. And he's, she's like, well, you're going to have to treat me well. He took her shopping the whole day, bought her 10 grand worth of all new clothes purses, shoes, all this crap. Morning they were supposed to fly out to Miami. He bailed on her, said, oh, my friend she bailed died. On him. She bailed yeah. on him, right? She bailed on him. Yeah. My friend she, died. She said he got shot in the leg a week ago and he just died. And I'm like, come on, man. That is like layers of bull crap, right? That is a cap to the maximum highest uh, authority. I don't know what that is, bro. That is cap. Can't make this shit up, guys. We tell you all the time, man, don't be a trick. Don't be. And this is why. You don't, can't make this shit up, man. And so it's our boy, man, in yeah. the airport. But I want yeah. some of the Un but unknown like person cool people. that you will not know. Yeah, exactly. Okay. There you go, guys. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to head out to Vegas right now. We're on a plane. My name is James. Hey, man. I'll see you guys in seat. We're leaving right now. See so, ya. Yeah. Thank um, you for your attention. Once again, make sure your seat backs are in the upright. Whatever. 